Uh, QAnon killer. I want to do a wrap up, a little bit of a uh, a summation of what a day today. So Anthony Camillo, the QAnon killer, the guy who went and shot the Gambino crime boss, Frankie Cali, shot him dead in front of his house, 10 shots, unloaded the gun on him, was in court today in Staten Island Criminal Court, and he pleaded not guilty. What was most interesting to me, the uh, takeaway was that um, I, I left, uh, I did another report on this, but uh, some of the details that there's going to be a hearing to try to get him some bail. What do you know, right? Everybody in America is entitled to some bail until, uh, until proven guilty, right? That's the way it should be, right? So we got a bail hearing, but most of, let's, let's take some of the uh, imagery is out. I wasn't able to get, um, I was inside the courtroom. I sat there. He walked out. Uh, I got a good feel for, you know, he, he didn't look drugged out. I was able to see the, his, the palms of his hands. He was cuffed behind his back. But he didn't have any uh, imagery on his hands. He didn't address the audience. <laughs> so he was just kind of standing there, surrounded by cops. I mean, it was like there was, there was 15 cops, three, three white shirts, captains and lieutenants in there. So... Um, Let's look at some of the imagery that has come out, and uh, I'll confirm that because uh, I was in the room. So so this is the local newspaper set out on Advance, Anthony Camillo. That's pretty much how he looked, you know, sk- you know skinny. That's the, I was sitting, I was sitting uh, right behind this lady. I was sitting right, right next to, these are the ABC guys. I was sitting right behind them. I should have been sitting over here to get on, the, getting the shots, right? <laughs> anyway, but here he is, Anthony Camillo. Um, that's his uh, attorney. Gottlieb, Robert Gottlieb, cop, 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 two cop, three cop, four cop, <laughs> a lot of cops. That's the, uh, that was the, that's William Garnett, the judge, uh, Robert Gottlieb. He did a good job, right? So, um, let's look at the Im- images. Sometimes the images speak louder than words. Right? Hmm, did he do it? That's the thing, right? Looks in good shape. It doesn't look like he's beat up. No black eyes, no, you know. Looks a little thinner. He doesn't look jacked up on uh, on uh, on meds either. You know what I'm saying? He looks like a little bit... He doesn't look like... He didn't look like uh, junkied out like he did the last time, which is interesting. As he sobers up. And there he was, out the door. Back out the door. So there's some video. Let's look at this. A reputed mob boss on Staten Island is back in court. Authorities say Anthony Camillo shot and killed Francesco Cali last month. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Fleischer live in St. George with the details. Tim. And David, the suspect was arraigned on three counts this morning of that of murder in the second degree and two counts of criminal possession of a weapon. Now, 24-year-old Anthony Camello is charged in the killing of reputed mob boss Francesco Frankie Boy Kelly back on March 13th. Police say Camello lured Kelly out of his house late that night and then shot him more than a dozen times. Police later found him at his family home in Brick, New Jersey. He was brought back to Staten Island to face charges. This is a very high, highly charged case. Uh, many people Let's are sure that... Uh, and for now, he is being held without bail. So I my my uh, I got the whole press conference. There's no point in listening to that. So I was out front from Staten Island once again. We're here. I want to I want to key up the part of the press conference uh, that I think is most relevant. This is the question I asked. His protective custody. It's hard to hear, right? No. Scala, what do you expect to find on his uh, hard drives? I know you. I have an open mind. I will find what I find. Uh, I fully expect uh, to receive that uh, information quickly, and we will have it analyzed. Ah, Conti asked the right question, right? So, so that's some of the scenes that that were uh, going on there, right? But that question I asked him about the hard drive, right? Because that's the, in my view, that's the whole case right here, right? Is he a, you know, was he surfing QAnon boards? Was he a, 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 a down the electronic rabbit hole of QAnon so deep, so deep that he 
that he he didn't know what he was doing and he just he set out to kill somebody or or is the story much deeper as the individual sobers up and as the evidence comes in uh there's no you know we will find out more but there's still no escaping the fact that he was the QAnon he had the QAnon you know the this QAnon logo on him I mean, if you haven't seen it I mean I put it up a hundred times already but uh, the QAnon let me take a look at take a look take a look at 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 one second so uh, I should have this ready to go for you I should have ready to go for you but um, so you know there there it was right ah QAnon right? it's no joke right. There's no, this is not a joke whatsoever, man. You see that hand? That is the hand of the QAnon killer. I, why would he do it? United we stand. MAGA forever. MAGA forever. Patriots in, patriots in charge. Q. 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 Thank you.